may you be found worthy. May you be found worthy. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you know that we continue praying and fasting for the programs, our outreach. Amen. Amen. The reason why we have to pray is because that is our source of coverage. When we are out there, it is grace that covers us. And that grace, you have to appropriate it before you go. Amen. Amen. We know where we are going. We know what kind of place it is. And we know that it takes the spirit to subdue the spirit. Amen. Amen. And we exercise authority in the name of Jesus Christ over that environment. Amen. And we subdue the spirit of lawlessness Amen. and the spirit of rebellion. Just lift up your voice for one or two minutes and declare, Father, in your name, we take authority over Agege area. We subdue, we bind those spirit of lawlessness, the spirit of rebellion that walks among the children of disobedient. We command them to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. We command them to yield to the word of God. Heavenly Father, that environment that environment let there be light let every darkness be rolled away and let every stronghold be broken into pieces lord we lift up our voice and declare the name of jesus christ we call upon the name of jesus christ over IKK. we call upon the name of jesus christ over that environment we decree and declare that souls will be released from every captivity and every bondage and they are coming to Jesus. They are coming to Jesus. They are coming to Jesus. Souls are coming to Jesus. Eh? Father, we claim the souls for you. Eh? We claim the souls for the kingdom. We claim the souls for the kingdom. We claim the souls for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? we proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord eh? over Agege. He is Lord eh? over the local government. He is Lord eh? over this environment. Eh? He is Lord eh? over our lives. Eh? And in his name, eh? in his name, eh? we lay claim, eh? we lay claim, eh? we lay claim, eh? we lay claim eh? to all the souls there in the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? We see a great harvest. We see a great harvest. We see a great harvest. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In Isaiah 41, God said we should present our case. Present our argument. Praise the Lord. Many of us, we don't know that soul winning is about intercession. Standing before God. In Isaiah 41, verse 21, it says, Present your case, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, says the king of Jacob. Praise the Lord. And that is what Abraham did when he was interceding for Sodom. He said, Lord, for adventure, there are 50 people in Sodom. Will you still destroy it? God said, if there are 50, I will not destroy it. But I want us to know that he made a case. He made a case before the almighty God. Praise the Lord. He says, then Abraham approached him and said, Genesis 18 verse 23. Then Abraham approached him and said, will you sweep away the righteous with the wicked? And if there are 50 righteous people in the city, will you greatly, will you really sweep it away and not spare the place for the sake of the 50 righteous people in it? Now I want you to understand the case that Abraham presented, he said, far be it in verse 25, he said, far be it from you to do such a thing, to kill the righteous with the wicked, treating the righteous and the wicked alike. That's powerful argument, praise the Lord. Now in our own case, as we spend time to pray for those that we, we are believing God to be saved, God said in Zechariah 20, 22 verse 30, we prayed it before, he said, I look for someone to stand in the gap, praise the Lord. We are standing in the gap for unbelievers. He says, so that I will not destroy them in my anger. And so we are standing in the gap, not only for those in Agege, but for our family 
members and our friends. Praise the Lord. In Ezekiel 18, verse 23, he said, Do I take pleasure in the death of the wicked? God said, Do I take pleasure when the wicked die? You are still getting there. Ezekiel 18, verse 23. Do I take any pleasure in the death of the wicked? Declares the sovereign Lord. Rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their ways and leave? Shout hallelujah. And then Ezekiel 33, verse 11, he says, Say to them, As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather they turn from their ways and leave. Turn! Turn from your evil ways. Why will you die, people of Israel? Why will you die, people of God? Are you ready to pray? And the way we are going to pray is like what Abraham interceded for Sodom. Lord, we are asking you, since you have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, that these people will not die. Especially the more than 400 we have reached out to, and then the 28 that came to church. Lord, it is your will that they will turn to salvation. And Lord, only you can turn their heart around. Father, we pray. These over 400 people, let your word come alive in them. Let the message that we have planted in them come alive in them. And even the 28 that came here, Lord, that you will establish them, that you will perfect them, you will settle them. For this is your way concerning every man. Praise the Lord. Continue to pray now and say, Lord, we are standing in the gap for these souls. Lord, we have reached over 400 souls in IKK, in our outreach. Lord, we believe that you know them one by one. You know them by face. You know them by name. And Lord, we are standing before you this evening in the gap concerning these ones. Because you have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. You have no pleasure in the destruction of the wicked. And therefore, Lord, we are asking you, we are asking you, O oh, sovereign Lord, for there is nothing that is too hard for you to do. There is no one that is beyond your reach. Lord, this evening we pray that these over 400 souls, Lord, you will save them. And beyond the 400, as many that have heard your word in Agege Pen Cinema area, we are praying for the salvation of their souls. Lord, we pray for your mercy. Since you have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, Lord, my God, we ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. We ask for the forgiveness of their sins. Lord, we ask that there will be a turnaround in them. Lord, inspire them to change. Lord, turn them to change. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree that they will not die. We decree that they will not die. For the Lord have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But there will be a transformation. There will be a conversion. There will be salvation of their souls. In the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, we stand in the gap before the throne of grace. We plead for mercy. We plead for mercy. We plead for mercy. Lord, have mercy upon these souls. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, save these souls. Save them from their sins. Save them from their wickedness. Save them from their lawlessness. Save them from their rebellion. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father and our God, we are pleading them for mercy for you are no respecter of persons as Abraham stood in the gap for Sodom Lord even so we stand in the gap for all these precious souls this evening in the name of Jesus Christ and Lord we also pray for those that came to church last Sunday and two Sundays ago Lord you are the perfecter of our faith only you can establish. Lord, we pray that you will stabilize all these people that already came, all these people that you already brought. Father, we pray that you will establish them, that you will perfect their faith. You will stabilize them, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you brought them, Lord, may you keep them, may you keep them, may you keep them. Lord, as you brought them, may you keep them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we trust you. Lord, we believe you that as we continue to go 
as we continue to proclaim the gospel that many are going to be saved many are going to be delivered in the name of jesus christ our father and our god we thank you lord we give you praise we give you glory in jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. i want us to pray again in a place like Agege, we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy we are not ignorant of the rituals the sacrifices the covenant and all the wickedness that is done in that area praise the lord but thank god for the blood of jesus christ it is the blood that speaks better thing than the blood of men and the blood of animal and the blood of sacrifices but god is able to plead that blood i want us to lift up our voice and say lord we silence every blood covenant we silence every voice of opposition in agege and the environ we take authority and we pray that the blood of jesus christ we silence every other blood every other covenant every other ritual begin to pray in the name of jesus christ we invoke the power that is in the blood we invoke the power of the covenant of the blood of jesus Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, we revoke, we revoke every covenant in Agege Pensinima, every sacrifice, every ritual for any reason, for any purpose. My Father, my God, Malikaye, Lekabosan, Dakadu, Likrea Bukaye, Manegede, Brosu Takaya Kadu, Lebro Tukaman, Degede, Lebro Koyaman, Lebro. Brosu takaya, le baya kakaka, malige do brosunda, le bayi kakaka, le posuta. By the blood, we revoke every covenant. By the blood, we cancel, we cancel every ritual, every ritual, every ritual. We take dominion. We exercise liberty in Agegepe Cinema, on Iju Road, even Faba, even in Shaga. We exercise authority. We exercise dominion in all these places. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mani broso taya bale ke tole brande gede Mani broso takaya Le boso taya male Rika bale ke do broso taya male ke do mbale Mbale brasande le boso taya Li baye ke tole brasande ke tole bolo ndakaya le bala Mbale le boso to ye bala kakato Era baya bala kado Era basu taya male ke tole bala ndekede Mbale era basu taya male ke tole branda kata ya male ke do Era baye era basu takaya Ya bale ke tele bala, era baye ne ke tole baya, e bosu taka ya bala kaka tole baza, male la baka bale ke tole bosu ndaka ya, male brasa taka ya le bosu ndeke ne, male era basu taba ya bala kaka tole boye ndeke tele bala, era basu taya e ba ya ba ya kaka tole bun ndaka ya, la bale ke tu, la bale ke te, la basu taya bale, we revoke every Covenant, we revoke every ritual. Rabba Yekido, we silence every voice in the spirit. We come against every opposition. Mani Brasanda ya, Iba ya kaka tole bro sete bala, Mani Brakuta ya bala ka tala bala, Rabba sete kete le bala kado. In Jesus, let him have prayed. A village in Nigeria. People went to preach the gospel in that village. And there was a native doctor that influences everything in that community. And people fear him. And so when they went to preach the gospel as the Lord sent them, he resisted them. He made it difficult for the gospel to be preached. And then 
they went about to anoint some strategic places in the village. And as they anointed it, they said, Lord, uproot those that oppose you in this village. Praise the Lord. That's all they prayed. Lord, uproot them. In the midnight, that same night, there was a heavy rainstorm, heavy one. And then nobody could explain it. Coconut tree that was near in the beach, in the river, far away from where people live, it was uprooted by the east wind of God. And it was taken to the house of the native doctor. And he smashed the house of the native doctor, killing him inside. Praise the Lord. When people woke up, nobody could doubt that this is Jehovah at work. How did the coconut find his house? Who carried it from the riverside to come and judge him in his house? And the following day, when the gospel was proclaimed, the whole village, they did not only give their life to Christ, they changed the name of that village. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Say, God is awesome. I don't want to mention the name of the place because some of you may know. Praise the Lord. But the Bible said, Ezekiel said he was in, on the last day in the spirit. As he was praying, the Lord showed him some men. He said, these are men that do wickedly and give wicked counsel in this place. He said, son of man, prophesy against them. And let me tell you, they have not ceased to exist such men. They are in Agege. They are in this environment. They are in Fagba. And they are in Eshaga. And you will find them in different places. But because the church has not done their homework, that's why they are still around. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Did you hear what I said? The church has not done their homework. That's why they are still parading themselves. But they are in trouble. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And all that the Lord said to Ezekiel is a prophesy against them. Speak against them because I need your word as ingredient to execute judgment. God needs our word just as we, listen, listen, what we don't understand. We need the word of God to execute judgment on earth. God needs our word in heaven to execute judgment on earth. And that's why when you don't speak, nothing happens. And until you speak, heaven will not act. He said, prophesy. Prophesy against them. He said, son of man, shall this bone, dry bone, shall they live again? He said, Lord, only you know. He said, prophesy, and something will happen. I want us to lift up our voice. All those men that do evil and wickedly, that oppose the move of God and the move of the Spirit, we terminate their assignment. We are sending an east wind of God tonight and tomorrow. Before we get there on Saturday, before we get there on Friday, let there be news in that area. Let there be news in that area. Lift up your voice before God and say, Lord, as you said to Ezekiel to prophesy, even so we prophesy this evening against men, unreasonable and wicked men, those that do wickedly, those that give wicked counsel, Lord, we stand from this community. Lord, we start from this community. We declare God's judgment. God's judgment. This night, tomorrow night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend, we execute judgment on those that do wickedly, on those that oppose the work of God, on those that oppose the Spirit of God. This day, we execute judgment. It is written concerning you. Mene, mene, take a offense. You have been weighed and you have been found wanting. And therefore, wherever you are in this.
this community, in Agege, in Faba, in Ishaga, your days are numbered. We send the east wind of God. We approach you. We revoke your certificate of occupancy. You will have no place in Agege, in this community, in Faba, in Ishaga. If you stand against the word of God, you will not stand. Today, we revoke you. Malibuya, Libero Tandaya, Libaka Tele, Rabaka, Malibu Sutaya, Eleboyan Dakado, Lebeya Bayaka, Balakando Lebaya, Rapro Suta, Erebayan de Gade, Male, Rabaya Baya Baya Balakuto Bosotakaya, Ela Bayaka Katuli Baya, Male. Sotuya, Elebron Dakaya, Libaya Hakato, Elabaye, Elabaye Kakitole Basan Dakaya, Libaya Paya Balak, Tulu, Elabasutaya Balekatele Baya. We revoke their right of occupancy. We revoke any claim they have in this community. We revoke it this evening. We send the east wind of God to visit them. Whether in this community, whether in Agage Pesilima, whether in Faba, whether in Ishaga, we send the east wind of God on assignment this evening, on assignment tomorrow, on assignment on Friday, on assignment on Saturday. We release the troublesome east wind of God against them in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to declare again that our expectation shall not be cut short. That before the end of this year, the end of this month, that the Lord Almighty will add hundred souls to this church. Begin to declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Our expectation shall not be cut short. And the Bible said that we shall decree it and it shall come to pass. We have made a decree as a church. Lord, that this month, you will add 100 souls to your church. You will add 100 souls to this church. And you will add more souls to all the church. All the church around this vicinity. All the church around this community, Lord, souls will come, souls will come, there will be increase, there will be addition, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. For it is settled. It is settled. Ministering spirit will deploy you. Go and execute. Go and execute. All that is according to the will of God. Go and execute. In this community, in Agagapen Cinema, in Fagba and in Shaga, and all over where the name of the Lord is called, ministering spirit. We deploy you. Go and execute her. Go and execute her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall he be. And so shall he be. In Jesus' precious name. 